Hi, everybody. Tom Guy at the Guile Group. In today's Tom's Take, hey, I just want to cut the chase and uh, talk about what fear is currently doing to the housing and mortgage markets right now. So there's a lot of fear in the marketplace right now. Um, and the uh, news is really pumping it out there about the debt ceiling. What's going to happen to the U.S. if our two parties don't resolve the issue of the debt ceiling and get agreement? So what we've actually, what that has done, and we're seeing the impact in two ways. We're seeing, first of all, mortgage rates actually ticking up, up over the last couple of weeks in a time where really where they should have been coming down. We had some positive news, both on the inflation front, as inflation came down, and positive news from the Fed that they were uh, probably aren't going to do any future increases, at least for the balance of this year. That should have brought rates down, but instead we've seen the opposite. What we've seen is fear about the U.S. possibly defaulting on its obligations, driving up bond rates, driving up T-bill rates, which then impact mortgage rates. So this fear is driving, making decisions, making money more expensive in the short term for people. In addition, what we're seeing is people are sitting on the sidelines, both buyers and sellers, because they're a little bit paralyzed because they don't know what's going to happen. Now, let's take a look. Uh, a, a serious look at what can and should happen. As far as the debt ceiling goes, we've seen this before. The country is going to resolve the issue. The politicians are going to resolve it. They have to resolve it. It's kind of one of these too big to fail type of situations when we talk about bailing out other industries. They will reach a resolution. There probably is going to be some bumps along the way, especially over the next couple of weeks, as they hammer out this, this deal. After the debt ceiling issue is kind of put behind us, you know, I think what we're going to see is interest rates continuing to come back down as they should be naturally, given the other things we're seeing in the economy. Even if the economy gets thrown into a recession, typically what happens in a recessionary period is rates come down. As rates come down, that should spur additional demand in the marketplace. Remember, we're seeing a strong housing market in general. The volume is off about 30%, but We've only seen prices in the Portland metro area come down about 2%. Pricing is stable. There are buyers out there. And even with this you know, debt ceiling crisis around us, keep a couple things in mind. People are always going to need to buy and sell homes, regardless of what's going on. So there's always going to be both supply and demand. If you've got any questions or would like to talk about uh, what I'm talking about here today in more detail, or maybe talk about your home, your neighborhood, we'd love to hear from you. You can reach out to us at askgalgroup at galgroup.com. Give us a call or respond to us on social media. We'd love to hear from you.